Yo, what's up guys, it's Juicy J here. I'm a professional Clash Royale player as well as the WCG 2019 Clash Royale World Champion. And my goal for this YouTube channel is to help you guys improve the best that I can at Clash Royale and you know, basically share my knowledge as a professional player and help, hopefully help you guys have more fun playing the game and increase your deck pool. Anyways, that's it for the intro. Let's go and hop into the video. All right, we're hopping straight in the first game here. No intro for the deck, but you know, with this deck, we got the Roll Giant uh, Firecracker combination. Obviously, I've been playing a lot of Firecracker on the channel lately. I think Firecracker is one of the best cards in the game. Anyways, anyways, let's go with the Firecracker in the back right now. I'm talking so fast that my brain can't keep up right now, but let's just go with the log. Try and knock this back just a bit. And Firecracker's actually going to miss that because of the fact that we logged it. So we're going to protect it with the Prince. I think that's absolutely fine. Firecracker is going to two-shot this Skelly Drag, which is great. Prince can knock the shield off. Hopefully get one more shot. Perfect. Okay, we are going to protect this Firecracker right now. Absolutely, with some Skellies. Okay, I think that was worth it. Like, it was worth it to try, right? Okay, so we're going to go with a Roll Giant, followed up by a Miner. Have the log at the ready in case he's got like skeleton army or goblin gang or something. He's gonna go with a pre-tornado to take out the miner away from the pump. But I disagree with that because look at that. Now that roll giant is just gonna smack down the tower repeatedly. He's gonna do his best to defend, but let's just go with the firecracker. Roll giant, bop, bop, bop. Let's go with a log. Knock that back. Go with skellies, protect that firecracker as well as our tower. You know, he does have the pump advantage, but just look at the massive amount of damage that we have. As well as, uh, you know, he has the pump to get him the elixir lead, but we have the firecracker to get us the elixir lead right now. You know, look how much elixir he's spending to try and kill this firecracker. We just keep protecting it. Let's go with the miner over here to try and take that out. If he does, uh, you know, defend this one, we can definitely just go with a fireball onto that uh, pump, I'd say. Yeah, let's go with a fireball. Like, he's definitely be up a massive amount of elixir from all these pumps and stuff. But, you know, at the very least, we can uh, try and prevent the stacking of his elixir. And, you know, he won't have that pump working for him in this golem push now at this point. Whew, so we are down about six elixir. I don't see myself defending. I will definitely do my best. We're going to go with another firecracker in the back, trying to defend this golem. Okay, he goes with that. Let's go with a skellies up top as it followed up by the prince. Next up, we're going to go with this. Okay, good tornado, good tornado. Look at the firecracker just shredding now. We're gonna go with a log. And let's go with the fireball. Knocking that E-drag back, allowing the tower to take it out. And okay, he's going with another goal on the bridge. Let's try and defend once again. We're down a massive amount of elixir, but because of the firecracker, we actually defend with such a small amount. We're gonna go with a log here to knock by the golem and basically just ensure that the uh that the golem isn't gonna get zero damage. Let's just go defensive miner, trying to protect this tower at the very least. He's going to go with a tornado, very desperate. In this deck, he has no big spell. Going with the roll giant in the pocket, try and take the second tower. Obviously, probably not going to do that, but, uh, you know, we can assert our dominance, basically. So, be like, you know, even if you took my tower, bro, I'm going to take that second one very quickly. The roll giant in the, in the pocket being absolutely monstrous in that placement. You know, very solid first game. Uh... I say it's, let's hop straight in the next one. I hope you guys learn something there. And, you know, we're already in, so no cut needed. Future Juicy J. All right. Liberty Walker from Liberty Walker Clan. Just a little bit self-centered, I say. <laughs> let's go to the Firecracker. Try and take out these Fire Spirits. Hopefully she doesn't miss. Sometimes she can miss stuff. Come on, Firecracker. Like, you know, I talk up the Firecracker. I give her so many compliments. Oh, you're so good of a card. Thank you so much for being amazing. Next thing you know, this Firecracker is just not putting in the work. Anyways, let's uh, let's try and focus up and ensure this victory. Let's go with Cycling a Log right now. I think it's okay. Okay, he's going to go with that Graveyard, which is really annoying for us. Let's go with the Firecracker. And then he's going to freeze. I think since I don't have the Log and Cycle, I am going to be forced to Fireball. Like, I think... You know, you almost never want a fireball graveyard. But in that situation, I think it's okay. It's going to save us thousands of HP. If we didn't fireball, he would have taken the tower, of course, with that freeze. So, you know, I think overall it's going to be good for us in the long run, even though it's not really good to spend four elixir just to kill skellies like that. Oh, I'm trying to think of what I want to do in this situation. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pressure with a royal giant and then go with a miner and take out this really annoying furnace so he actually has pekka graveyard this is definitely a counter for us like 
I'll do my best, but I don't see myself winning right now, especially with that very, very healthy pack I just come in. We're gonna go Skelly's Distract. And then Firecracker up top. So the goal of this Firecracker is to pull the P.E.K.K.A. all the way in the opposite lane, similar to that of a... Uh, similar to that of a... Of a, like, Ice Golem, but unfortunately, with the Freeze coming down once again, it's just almost impossible with us for us to defend. Like, we don't have Poison to negate that Freeze, and... Now he has a building and a P.E.K.K.A. for a roll of Giants, and, you know, if we can trade Towers right now, that would be ideal, but... I don't see that happening, but I will try my best. Okay. Let's go with the Royal Giant right here. Let's go with a Miner on top of that e -waste. He will P.E.K.K.A. now. Prince. The goal is for our Prince to take out this P.E.K.K.A. Basically. If it, it's at all possible. He also has the Valkyrie. Oh, no. Let's go with a Log right here. Try and keep our... Uh, he has Freeze and Poison for the Firecracker. Oh, my gosh, guys. I can't think of a harder counter right now. It's unfortunate we're gonna take an L here, but you know, all in all, I think we did learn something. Like, I definitely think we went a little bit aggressive when we didn't know exactly what deck he had. Once again, going to Pekka as well as the building. You know, Miner is chipping away, and that is something you want to do with this deck. Uh, yeah, so like for example, like the mistake that I made is uh, obviously super hard matchup, but I, I think it is possible to win just by switching to Miner as your main win condition in this deck. As well as uh, using logs after the freeze and conserving elixir to make sure you have enough for um, anything you need after that freeze goes down. But um, yeah, I mean, pretty well played by him. I would say, yeah, like I said, basically convert to miner as the main source of damage. Go with fireballs onto the furnaces. Try and use our firecracker away from the tower. He definitely surprised me with that freeze. I didn't expect it, especially since he used the poison on the firecracker earlier on. I don't know. Like, I think his deck is pretty bad and kind of only works versus our deck. Uh, and this deck is very popular, so I don't blame him for just trying to snipe one deck like that. But, you know, let's hop straight into this third game. Try and not worry about that second one. Let's get another dub and get some positive trophy gain. We're going to go with a Miner to support our Firecracker. Playing the Miner in the back so he's not able to basically support the way he wants to. We're going to split some Skeletons right here. Hmm... And then I'll probably just eat that Mega Minion damage because of the fact that I ate so much uh, Skelly Drag damage as well. So he's got a Tombstone, a Mega Minion, and Skelly Drag. I'm definitely going against some Lava Loon right now. I'm gonna have to delay this log. Very, very delayed log. But it will come in and take out the Skeletons as soon as the Prince comes in. Okay, so he's gonna go with the Barbs. Firecracker is amazing against these Barbarians. He will go with a Fireball though. So, I commend him for that, for sure. I'm gonna go with the Royal Giant. His Tombstone and Barbarians are out of cycle. And then we can go with a Fireball onto the Skelly Drags. I'm not sure what he's gonna have in, the, in this moment. I'm gonna go with a Log right now. Kill that Barb. The Log was also to try and predict the Tombstone. I was hoping that he would Tombstone to push the Royal Giant backwards. Royal Giant gets a shot and then, and then Tombstone gets immediately uh, obliterated by our Log. Unfortunately, if I was going to do the log in that situation, I should have logged a lot sooner to prevent that Barbarian from doing so much damage to my Royal Giant. But no matter, let's just focus on this defense. We're going to go with a Firecracker. I don't want to pressure Prince Hop's lane because he has that Tombstone, which is really annoying for us for sure. We're going to go with this, and then I'm going to go with Hunter straight on top of that balloon, if at all possible. One shot and a two shot. That's a dead balloon. Hunter is OP versus those air cards. We're going to go with some Skellies just to protect here. And then go with the prince in the back as followed up by another firecracker just to make sure that those uh yeah super annoying uh i can't think lava pups don't to get some massive damage so we're gonna just go with a log here log is gonna make it so the barbarians are one shot for the prince or not one shot uh yeah one okay sorry like not the whole thing one shot by the prince obviously <laughs> i think you guys knew that though so i didn't really have to go through all of that painful speaking this but we are gonna take the tower he's gonna fireball and uh, i think i'll just use a miner here and as well as a fireball 
as soon as that pops down and then we can go with this we can go with this and we can even cycle back to another hunter if needed but it's not needed at all that's gonna be gg it got pretty close there but i was confident in my firecracker and my hunter's abilities even if you did that, take that tower i can just go with the royal giant pocket once again uh trading towers with this deck is really really good you can trade towers and play the royal giant directly in the pocket get the miner chipping on the tower you can even use the miner to tank for the royal giant if you want to but I would definitely suggest going with the Miner, mainly as a secondary source of damage. Royal Giant tanking for the Miner. Usually what's going to happen is they're going to spend all the elixir trying to counter that Royal Giant. And then the Miner's just going to be sitting on the back of the tower, just slowly chipping away. But yeah, GG's pretty good uh, games. Sorry that we placed such a hard counter in that second game. Not really a meta deck, so hard to kind of learn something from such a weird deck like that. But, you know, that's going to be it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed Definitely hit the sub button and notification bell down below. Trying to grow this channel. And I hope you guys are with me in this journey of growth. We're going to get monetized super soon. I'm super excited for that. As well as uh, check out my... Uh, if you guys didn't know, like this is also a mini announcement real quick. I'll do an announcement. But I'm actually doing a partnership with Clash with Ash. We're going to be doing a weekly video where I coach him on a deck. And... Um, yeah, basically, I'm going to be coaching him on the deck. The link uh, to his channel will be down below if you guys don't know about him already, which you most likely do. But, you know, just trying to be professional. Anyways, this outro is getting way too long. Thank you guys all for watching once again. Peace out and stay juicy.